Welcome back. Here we are. It's Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. I hope you guys had a good week and I have just two simple assignments for you. I want to say thank you to all of you who turned in some projects and some assignments so far. I really, 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 really appreciate that. It's awesome. It helps me out. I have meetings with Mr. Pfeffer every Friday at two o'clock or one o'clock. And he always asks every single time, the whole meeting is about who is doing the work and who's not doing the work. So if I get some assignments turned in throughout the week, I give you positive vibes in that meeting. You know, I know you have until Sunday to do some of these assignments and that's fine. You can turn them in on Sunday. But if you turn them in earlier, I give you a lot of props to Mr. Pfeffer and the whole team. And I say, hey, they're doing great. And I say your name to Mr. Pfeffer. And you know who you are. I appreciate you. Also in those meetings are people that you um, know. Mr. Graves, Mrs. Foe, Mrs. D, Mrs. Gaden. Like you guys um, are at home. And so are we, but we all have video chat meetings every Friday. And it's sometimes um, it's good to talk about what's going on. Okay, let's get down to the work. Here we go. Number one, I want you to look at the words in this document and think about sentences that go along with them. And I will try my best to just off the top of my head come up with some really cool, fun sentences about them. And number two, number two is the vocab from uh, US history. Mr. Novoselsky may have sent it to you, but remember, you don't have to do it with him, you can do it with me. What do you mean vocab? Well, there's three or four words that are Civil War related, and those words are in a slide. So I want you to take that first slide or second slide, copy and paste that word into Google, find the definition, make a sentence, and pull up an image on Google. Copy and paste that stuff into your Google Slides and then turn that in today or by Sunday. In addition to that, you'll be doing those sentences also in this document. So let's go ahead and review those sentences. I will at the top of my head come up with some fun ones. Here we go. Number one, wingspan. The bird's wingspan was over six feet long. Number two, preening. Okay, this is not a word that you would typically use. Preening is searching for food scraps like dead animals, okay? That's the California condor, that's what they do, they go preening. So here's my sentence. The California condor was preening on Fridays. Number three, food. This one's so, so easy. I just ate a lot of food for dinner, it was wonderful. Number four, captured. The bear was captured in the wild. Number five, conservation. The DNR officer was protecting the environment through conservation. Number six, expensive. Gasoline for your car used to be expensive. Well, it still is kind of expensive. Um, when I started driving, it was only 99 cents a gallon. Um, so anything above that is expensive to me. Let's see here, uh, number seven, rainforests. The rainforests in the Amazon have a lot of habitat loss. Number eight, awkwardly. The ostrich awkwardly jumped over the fence. Number nine, honey. The beehive made a lot of honey. Number 10, sold. The used car dealership sold me a bad car. Number 11, illegal. It is illegal to drive the wrong way down the street. And finally, the last one, number 12, sadly. The mother sadly watched his toddler scream and throw his spaghetti. Okay, I, I literally just came up with those off the top of my head. Now, do I want you to copy my sentences? No. Do I want you to come up with your own sentences? Yes. This is um, 
something we have done before. This is not a new concept. You should be able to do this. Highlight the words or underline the spelling words so I, I can see them. I'm going to be reading all of these sentences and I give you feedback when you turn it in. I give you points and feedback and then I will enter a grade into the system to go towards your requirements here. Uh, if you have any questions, message me on the Google Hangout app and I hope that you guys have a good weekend. And if you have anything you want to tell me, go ahead, message me. I'm here. I will respond. All right. Take care.